The case involving Arifin Iskandar Shah Ali Akbar, the founder of Wake Up Singapore, WUSG, raises significant concerns about the spread of misinformation and the consequences it can have on individuals and institutions. Let's delve deeper into the details of this incident and its implications. Arifin Iskandar Shah Ali Akbar, a 26-year-old legal executive, was charged with defamation following the publication of an article on WUSG alleging medical mismanagement at KK Women's and Children's Hospital, KKH. The article recounted a purported incident involving a woman who claimed to have suffered a miscarriage due to alleged negligence at KKH. The article, published in March 2022, detailed the woman's account of her visit to KKH's emergency department while pregnant. It alleged that she endured a miscarriage after a prolonged wait for medical attention. However, subsequent investigations revealed that the woman had not suffered a miscarriage and medical records indicated timely medical care upon her arrival at the hospital. Upon learning of the article, KKH promptly filed a police report, signaling the gravity of the misinformation spread by WUSG. The Ministry of Health also issued a Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act, Professor Ma, order against the article, emphasizing the importance of combating false information in the public domain. Following the police report and Professor Ma order, WUSG issued a public apology on social media and removed the article in question. The apology acknowledged the potential inaccuracies in the informant's claims and expressed regret over the dissemination of misinformation. Despite the apology and retraction, Arifin Iskandar Shah Ali Akbar now faces legal repercussions for defamation. If found guilty, he could be sentenced to up to two years in jail, fined, or both. This underscores the seriousness with which authorities view the dissemination of false information and its impact on individuals and institutions. This case serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of spreading misinformation, particularly in sensitive areas such as healthcare. It highlights the importance of verifying information before publication and the need for responsible journalism in the digital age. Additionally, it underscores the legal consequences individuals may face for their roles in perpetuating falsehoods. As consumers of online content, it's essential to exercise critical thinking and skepticism, especially when encountering sensational or unverified claims. By promoting media literacy and holding accountable those who spread misinformation, we can contribute to a more informed and responsible online ecosystem. The case involving Arifin Iskandar Shah Ali Akbar and Wake Up Singapore underscores the perils of misinformation and the legal ramifications it can entail. It serves as a reminder of the importance of accuracy, accountability, and responsible dissemination of information in today's digital age. Let's engage in constructive dialogue and actions to combat misinformation and foster a more trustworthy online environment. What are your thoughts on this case? Do you believe the legal actions taken are appropriate, or do you have other insights to share? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging discussions on current affairs and societal issues. Let's continue the conversation in the comments section below.